Coming to you pre-recorded from a townhouse in Harvard Village, the host of the only talk show born in quarantine not to sell it to AT&T, J.R. Renwick. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am J.R. Renwick, and this is our inaugural episode of Tonight on the Niche Network. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. That's a great way to enter three times to win one month of Xbox Game Pass. And Game Pass is, in my opinion, the best streaming service. Beats the crap out of PlayStation now and all that stuff. Okay, so this really also helps support the channel, which uh, we need, because I don't know if you can tell, I'm clearly not Jack Ryan. The man may have sold out, but he is much prettier and much richer than I ever will be. <clears throat> First up on the docket, I hope you're all healthy out there in the front lines and not losing your minds uh, at home. I know I'm dealing with it in interesting ways. Uh, please let me know what you guys are up to. Uh, don't be afraid to reply, uh, video reply, or comment. Uh, talking about bread or gardening. Somehow I'm finally interested in both. Now aside from starting a YouTube channel, I've been delving deep into the nerdiest of hobbies imaginable. Uh, and I mean nerdy hobbies, not lame. It's not like I'm playing with tech decks or wearing a mask around other people. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. I wear a mask. It's not like I'm a politician or anything, right? Now, we're talking hobbies today. Specifically model kit building. Even more specifically, Gunpla. Even more, more specifically? I'm losing my mind in here. Why bother building model kits in 2020, much less super articulate, beautiful, badass robots? Well, it started with hundreds of Japanese otaku, made its way to our beloved American weebs, and now millions of people worldwide just can't stop. And I gotta find out why. But first, Let's take a quick glance at news from around the world, which totally is an excuse for me to try to crack a smile on that beautiful, bitter, quarantine face of yours. Yeah, the joke's gonna be bad. It's, it's not gonna be great, but it'll be fun, hopefully. Laugh at it, right? The 10-day We Are One Global Film Festival kicked off recently, streaming more than 100 movies from over 35 countries. Ogre <laughs> Organizer Jane Rosenthal was quoted, I started thinking, how do we pull the world together in a time of need? Now, after I read that, I thought, wow, this millionaire totally isn't out of touch. And maybe, just maybe, half the world doesn't have copious ass sores from our own private film festivals we've been throwing for months. <coughs> Sonic the Hedgehog released May 19th after a long dramatic road home. Uh, it's got James Marsden, Badass Shades, it's got uh, Jim Carrey acting like an ass. And it's got Ben Schwartz being the best part about it. Oh my God, Sonic the Hedgehog is my childhood. The Guardian released their list of top 10 Scottish crime novels on Wednesday. What is a novel? The Guardian released their list of the top 10 Scottish crime novels on Wednesday. Uh, there are truly some tense and thrilling reads on that list. I know I've been in isolation too long though because while I read the article, I just thought, Scottish erotica. Scottish was the headline, and just words. Uh, you just keep all the descriptors away from me at this point. Too much isolation. Christopher Nolan says Tenant has more action than any other film he's made. And star John David Washington agreed, saying it reminded him of his NFL days, which scans completely to me. If you've seen a Nolan film in theaters, you know that if you go in with even a little headache, you're gonna come out with a goddamn concussion. You know, from an aspect of the story to the whole story, maybe don't get it to the more and more rare, but still very painful. You know that one. That I'm um, a bad impression. But you know that sound. The sound that happens. Sony's PlayStation announced recently that it will be giving Call of Duty World War II away for free. You know, I've been getting more and more back into Call of Duty with uh, Modern Warfare. And I gotta say, I'm just really looking forward to being called the N-word by a 13-year-old in a different setting. You know? Maybe one's more appropriate. Like the 40s. Vulture calls Netflix Space... The Vulture calls Netflix original Space Force a massive misfire, citing plot issues and no narrative payoff. Sounds exactly like this presidency and the rest of this joke. Did you see the rest of the joke? Alrighty then, I did have a great little segment lined up for you guys, um, but with the quarantine and 
everyone just buying up this hobby. Uh, you know, it's really difficult to try to get this stuff um, r right now, at least where I am. Hold on, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. So over my phone. Fold. One second, guys. I'm a phone. I'm a phone. And yeah, I am wearing pants. I'm a phone. An animal like you. I'm a phone. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this. You guys, it's phone. I'm a phone. It's work. One second, sorry. Hey. Hi, yeah. Oh no. No, no, absolutely. I'm good, you know, all things considered, isolation being what it is, you know. Uh, oh my god. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You got the tools as well? Oh, wow. I don't know if I need... I don't know, I don't know if I need two. No, no, I am grateful. I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. I'm more than grateful, really. It was just... Wow. Wow, wow. Well, you know what? I think yours are quite saggy. How about that? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh. Just say it. Okay. Okay. I apologize. Uh. -huh. You apologize. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank. Thank you very much. Okay. I love you too, Grandma. Bye. Okay, guys. It looks like we've got a hobby to talk about and show off today. Uh, I'm pretty darn excited about that. Uh, before we do, I want to say that we love fiction over at Niche Network. Uh, more of our sci-fi and fantasy because it stretches and reaffirms our values, you know, but takes us to a crazy new world. This is not your average unboxing, though it's not radically different. Uh, it's what I like to call a narrative unboxing, and the title is Cathartic Destruction. Enjoy. We start with a gander at Tamiya Cement, used most commonly to give Gunpla a professional look by eliminating seam lines from completed models. Also the Tamiya Basic Tool Set, specifically made for models. Now when I was younger, I didn't understand why older kids loved Gundam. I dug just as outlandish TV shows, but I never really understood the giant robot thing. Aside from Beast Wars, and they weren't giant, ironically enough, I hated Transformers and did not know they were connected until my mother told me. That is not even a joke. But my best friend as a kid was this wiry, tough-as-nails guy from the wrong side of the tracks. At least that's what everyone else saw. Now, he absolutely loved Gundam and Gunpla. He told me about how these giant robots are actually usually more of a last-ditch effort to fight back against other humans. Not aliens or Transformers, which I considered goofy. And the franchise wasn't nearly as silly as I must have thought. I quickly learned that this franchise had great emotional depth compared to other kids' shows. Grandma also got us something beautiful, the Gundam Mark II real grade and the Gundam Barbados Lupus Master grade models. Now I still not have taken the plunge into the original Gundam series, but you can expect a review from Barbados' series, Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, because I am binging that right now and I cannot get enough. So that's where I'm coming from. Hopefully you understand why I chose Gunpla when tasked with modeling as a hobby. These boxes are beautiful, and the translations on the side are filled with super positive and sweet affirmations. Instead of blinking lights and sounds which annoy parents across the globe, these boxes advertise, and I quote from the Mark II RX-178, We want to tell all generations who know Gundam of the pleasure and excitement of making a mobile suit. Please be sure to enjoy the numerous gimmicks incorporated in this palm-sized 1-144th scale model. Not only is this a way more respectful way to advertise to kids and hobbyists than anything I've seen in North America, but this paradox of joyfully, carefully, 
and creatively building idols to man-made gods of destruction, mainly for the joy of art and life itself is a mindset I really appreciate and actually parallels the themes present in Gundam and mecha shows in general. Now, in the franchise fiction, the pilot of the first mobile suit we're looking at, the Mark II AEUG RX 178, good god, is piloted by no less than 15 characters. There is actually more than 15 characters that pilot this uh, over the franchise fiction. Now, AEUG stands for Anti Earth Union Group a freedom-fighting organization born on off-world colonies. They stole this Gundam to help in their war effort against a corrupt Earth government. The Gundam Barbados, on the other hand, is a much more recent addition to the Mythos, and I am absolutely in love with the design of every version of the Barbados. The design feels exactly at home in a series starring child soldiers who take over the mercenary company that uh, quote unquote hired them. One of the more recent releases, Iron Blood Orphans explains in the first few episodes that by now in the timeline, most if not all mobile suits out in the universe that happen to be Gundam models are just leftover antiques from a massive war from 300 years ago. It also explains away why these Gundams show up over and over again in one line. Destiny. Your mileage may vary on Destiny. But I do think it's cool that Gundams keep showing up in massive wars and conflicts despite their rarity. From Japan and North America, these themes ring as true today as they did in the 80s. Two small town Canadian kids can grow up and connect with millions of builders and otaku, which means anime fan, all over the world based on cathartic destruction. Iron Blooded Orphan specifically has me hooked. I'm starting to see what millions of fans have known for decades. Creation and annihilation go hand in hand in the real world. And it can feel pretty damn good to have both possibilities existing at once in the palm of yours. And now, a quick word from our sponsor. for the producer of Tonight? Sure. You are speaking to him. This is Abernathy Cheeks over here at Bum Bum International. We represent businesses that want to connect with the average Joe via social media and YouTube. Renwick Photography seems like a great candidate for you. We'd like to offer you their services. Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah. All right, sure. We, we would love to use some new equipment. Uh, we're definitely going to need it. Um, what would you need from us? Oh, it's just a pre-roll ad. Just an ad, okay. Uh, that doesn't sound so bad at all. Um, it's not gonna be like risque or anything, is it? I don't really want to get demonetized or anything. No, no, we are very family friendly. Although I guess we're not gonna be monetized. We are so family friendly. Sure, okay. Great, so uh, can I get a name? Yeah, Joshua. Great, and uh, what are you wearing? Excuse me? Uh, it's just part of the sponsorship survey, sir. Uh, like a, like a, a, a Batman sheet? 
the color? It's it blue. Mostly, mostly it blue. Batman. Okay, great. Uh, we got the paper we're going. Uh, are your nipples hard? What? What the f- uh, Huh? Hey, man, whoa, whoa, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's in the morning you're talking. Tell my boy. Oh, what is going on here, man? That's not professional at all. I was thinking, man, come on. Oh. Be mad, don't be mad. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Don't tell my boy. Shit. Just give me the stuff, please, and yeah, we'll right. not talk about this anymore. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I have my first coffee of the day. Thanks. Wow. Man, what a weird-ass phone call. Hmm? Now, we're not going to get super deep into the model kit differences themselves. Suffice to say, there is a line and a price point for everybody. And everyone at the network isn't just here to inform. We also provide roads for you to walk down if you want to try to explore whatever we explore on the show. You know, there is a community waiting for every niche. All that is to say that we are not going to leave you in the wind without the YouTube tools you need to get to the bottom of whether or not you want to try this hobby. Um, and if you're interested, if anything has been interesting to you so far, you should. Um, Crunchyroll has a video going over the basics, the general history of Gunpla, centering on how Gunpla became an empire. Uh, it's an interesting watch from an entertaining host, who's actually building uh, a kid, it's great. Um, not only is there a thriving community all over Reddit, YouTube, everywhere else, there's also a YouTube channel dedicated to Gunpla news called S2, I believe, not Gundam and Gunpla, just Gunpla. That should tell you something about how big this stuff is. Um, plenty of young and old creators are showing off their custom builds, tools, techniques, and their histories with this hobby. There are even competitions for custom builds all over the world. Like, all over the world. Um, it's crazy to see, but there's some beautiful, beautiful stuff, guys. Uh, Gundam also has this giant, I don't know who, it must have been the franchise that built it, right? A one-to-one -one recreation of the Unicorn Gundam in Japan exists. Massive. Beautiful. Lights up at night. You know, it's like our CN Tower. It's crazy. Speaking of which, uh, Studio G. If you're into good tunes, great advice, seeing something gorgeous take form in under 20 minutes at a time, you need to give Studio G a look. Uh, just clipping those runners at the beginning of his videos feels so relaxing for some reason. And then you see how this guy elevates Bandai's work, and it's beautiful. And then you realize that you could do that. So many people can do that. And he is one of the main super talented people is saying, you know, it's not that difficult. You can do this. You know, AARP.org even has an article highlighting how this hobby model kit building makes you smarter. They rightly point out that humans need fulfilling work. And if we can't work, but we can get something like this, which has entire TV shows tied to history of every model, uh, which itself provides some compelling entertainment, that's not a half bad way to flex your nerdy brain. There are some incredible, ripping shows I can point you towards that we will review or revisit soon, uh, including Code Geass, Evangelion, Gurren Lagann, and of course, the granddaddy of all real robot mecha anime, Mobile Suit Gundam. More specifically, uh, Iron Blood Orphans. Uh, I am gonna probably binge that show. For right now, though, I'd suggest Gigguk and Glass Reflections for mecha anime uh, videos. On YouTube, they both have really detailed videos that don't overlap each other too much. Uh, they're both quite interesting. Definitely watch Gigguk's Darling in the Franks parody. It's hilarious. It has nothing to do with it, but it's just hilarious. So if you've got the time and you're interested in this massive franchise of model building, war, mecha, and all things niche, stay tuned to this channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for three chances to win one month of Xbox Game Pass. Also check the description below for feature channels as well as uh, builders, sources, videos, and ways to contact the show. Please comment telling us what we could do better, what else we should review, what type of challenges and giveaways you guys would like to see. And uh, lastly, check out Patreon. It's a lifeline for YouTubers, which can speed this channel to you know, better and bigger content really quickly uh, and even better giveaways. Uh, and so just, just you know, online subscriptions, uh, which are great, but you know, we'd like to give away some crazy stuff, maybe some, some of these model kits, something, you know? Uh, lastly, Double lastly, you can check us out on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and before I go, I just want to say to everybody who's going through something, I don't pray, but my my heart is with you. That's some insane stuff going on right now. Uh, on, the, on the front lines, stay safe. And at home, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys.
Thank you.